One of the ways to make money with your website is by hosting ads. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I managed to create this ad using Photoshop and also how to add it onto your website. Now, you may be thinking that this is just a quick image which I pasted on one of the posts, but this technique I'm going to show you will allow you to add your ad across all your posts. So this is a good way of actually managing your ads. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Today's tutorial has been made possible by divicake.com. Check out the huge selection of DV themes, layouts and plugins. The link is in the description below. So the first thing we're going to do is to start off by looking for a good image that goes with our ad. So right now I'm on pexels.com. All I did is I came over here and I searched for happy because the ad we're going to cre create is for a 50% a discount. So of course we want a happy face there to uh, suggest that the 50% discount is something exciting. Okay, so over here I just scrolled through and found an image. So the image I'm going to use is this one right here. So I've already downloaded, downloaded it onto my computer. So the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to go into Photoshop and design our banner ad. So let's start off by creating a brand new document. So I'm gonna come over here to file, click on new, and the dimensions that we need for our banner ad are 468 by 60. So once you've entered this, you just click on create, and this is the size of our banner ad. Now right now, I've actually zoomed in, so in your case, it may look a bit tiny if you're looking at it at uh, the right size. So what I went ahead and done as well is I've added my background color, and to do that, you just click on the foreground color over here, and then choose the color that you want and then click OK. So right now I have my color as my starting point. The next thing you want to do is to add your text. So over here, if you click on the type tool, you can you can start adding your text. And in my case, the text I'm going to use is 50% of a DV course. And by the way, this is for real. OK, I will show you as we proceed in the course. OK, so now that we have our text, the next thing we want to add here is just a shape which we're going to use as a clipping mask to have our image in. Okay, so what I want to do here is I'm just going to come over here to the shape tool. And then I'm just going to draw a rectangle like that. And then we want to rotate this rectangle. So to do that, I'm going to hit Command T. If you're on a PC, it's Control T. So I'm just going to come over here to one of these corners and then just rotate it like that and then just put it into position like that so once we're happy with that you just hit enter click on yes so now we have our shape now this shape it doesn't really matter what color uh, this shape is because we're going to add our clipping mask right so the next thing we want to do now is to get our image from our desktop and add it above this layer so i'm going to come over here to my finder desktop and i'm just going to find my image which is right here and then I'm going to drag this onto my canvas like that. So it comes in small, but you can go ahead and resize it. So I'm just going to resize it and make sure that my image fits in that clipping mask area like that. Once I'm happy with the positioning, I'm going to hit enter. Now it's time to add my clipping mask. So what I'm going to do here is to make sure that my layer is above the rectangle that I just created. And then I'm just going to mouse over this area here between these two layers. Hold down the Alt key and then you can see we have that clipping mask shape. I'm just going to click on it once and now you can see that our image is now filling into that area. So now I'm just going to zoom out so uh, we can see pretty much the quality of this banner ad. So right now this is the final design. I'm happy with that. I'm going to save. So over here just make sure that you save it as a JPEG. Okay, quality 100% because this is quite a small image. And then over here, making sure your dimensions are 468 by 60. You can go ahead now and save. Okay, so I've already saved this on my desktop, so I'm just going to cancel it. Now it's time to go back into Divi and add our banner ad. So the first thing you want to do here is to add your banner ad into the media library. So I'm going to come over here to media, click on add new, select files, and then we're going to select our banner ad, click open. Now our banner ad is added onto our media library. So what we need now is the URL of this banner ad. So to do that, I'm going to click on library and then I'm going to click on my banner ad like that. 
and this is the URL that we need. So I'm going to come over here, highlight it, copy this, and then close. Next, we're going to come all the way down here to Divi, Theme Options, and then we're going to select this Add icon. So by default, this is set to Disabled. Okay, so you want to make sure you select Enabled, and then this is where you want to paste the URL of the link we got from our media library. And then over here, this is where your banner advertise URL goes in. So this is where the page I'm going to promote is going to link our banner ad to. Now, if you're doing AdSense, this is where you'd add your AdSense code you get from Google. So now that I'm happy with this, I'm going to go ahead now and save. Right, so this banner ad is going to be shown on all your posts. So let's take a look at one of our posts and see what it looks like. So I'm going to come over here to all posts. And then I'm going to click on demo post. Excellent. So you can see here that our banner is now showing right here on the bottom. And let's take a look at what happens when we click it. So if I click this banner ad, it's going to take me to my page where I'm doing my 50% promotion. So as you can see, this is the landing page. And this is real, by the way. If you go to this page or to this link, you'll actually uh, get my Divi course with the 50% off. So this ad is actually real. If you click on the ad or if you follow this link, it will take you to this landing page where I'm offering a 50% discount on my Divi course. Now, this Divi course shows you everything that you need to know about Divi and it will get you up and running into designing professional looking websites. So if I scroll all the way down here, you can see that this is uh, what the course covers. And then over here, this is where the pricing is. So if I click here on grab the course now, it takes me now to this page where we have the discount. So if you take a look here, the discount is DV50. So as soon as you ent enter that coupon code, it's going to give you a 50% discount on the course, which is currently at $247. Now, this price is going to go up as soon as, um, soon as I update all the uh, contents of this course, because right now we're just waiting for uh, the updates to WordPress 5.0 Gutenberg. So it's going to change uh, how Divi works with WordPress. So I'm just waiting for that to come through and then I can just start creating new tutorials for this. So make sure you grab this because if you buy it now, you won't have to pay for the updated uh, course. Okay, so you can see here that our banner ad has worked. So the advantages of using that banner ad is as soon as you've designed the ad, you can uh, add it once onto your Divi uh, backend, and this will be applied to all your posts. So let's say you have 500 posts on your uh, website. This will be applied once to all your posts, which is great. And let's say after a week, or maybe you're running it for a week, someone else wants to advertise on your website. You can then remove that banner ad, put another one, and again, it'll be applied to all your, your posts on your website. So this is a great way of adding your banner ads on your website, and I really suggest that uh, this is how you want to do it. Today's tutorial is made possible by DiviCake.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link is in the description below. Okay, so that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel because by doing so, you'll be notified every time I go live or I post a brand new tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.